Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So today we are going to do lead code weekly challenge. Fourth question and this question was basically a hard level question. And this question was all about two pointers and or you can say about even sliding window approach. So now before starting this question, let us read this particular question. And then about the country and then we will be building up about the intuition behind this question. So let us start with the thing. So here you are given an integer array nums and two integers min k and max k. So these three things are being given to us. Here you can see that these three things are there. And now a fixed bound sub array of num is a sub array that satisfies the following condition. So basically the question is about this that we are required to figure out with a fixed bound sub array of num. Now the conditions are the minimum value of the sub array is equal to min k and the maximum value of the sub array is equal to max k. So these two elements should be there in our sub array then only that sub array would be the fixed bound sub array. Now we are required to return the number of fixed bound sub arrays and the sub array is a contiguous part of an array that we already know. So now comes the part that how we are required to do this question. Before that, let us see constraints. So here you can see about the constraint. So basically, a length of the that particular uh, num which is being given to us that would be up to 10 raised per 5, and that nums of i that we would be starting from 1, and it could go up to 10 raised to per 6. So basically, the range of integer only. And now comes the part that. Yeah, presently it is in the range of integer, but would we require to do some multiplication or something like that? Uh, in this, we won't be required. We are just required to check for the count, right? So we here the things would be in the range of integers only, not about the long and so on. So that's the thing about this. Now let us start with this question that how we are required to do. So really, I don't have anything in my mind that how exactly. We need to approach from the start. But let us see these examples and then check that how we can do. So basically, as per this question definition, which they are saying, the thing is that they want this min k and max 5. No, uh, sorry, min k and max k in our sub array, right? So we are required to find this min k, which we found at the first index, right? Then we figure out for this particular. So till now, we are having both of the elements in our this particular portion of our sub array, right? So that's why this can return one as answer. Now consider that how we can get some more sub arrays in which this is the minimum element means this particular one would be the minimum element and this particular five should be the maximum element. So that's the thing and it should be a sub array, not the subsequence or any other thing, right? So let us move ahead. We got to two, right? So two is not even the minimum and not even the maximum, right? Means basically out of these elements which are being there. So in this two is somewhat greater than this particular one and less than this five, right? So that's why this is also one of the possible sub So it will add up to one, right? But then we again proceed further at seven, right? So here seven is basically greater than means basically 7 is greater than 5, right? So because of this only, we now need to start our window from just next element in which also we are required to figure out that can we take that next also or not. So that would be the thing. And that's why we will be starting from here and discarding this particular. But till now, our result was this much. So then next we will be starting and here when we see about this particular, now we see that only our max k is there, but not min k is there, right? So that's why we won't be adding up anything to our result because they want both of these things. They have written that sub array that satisfy following condition. Means both of these conditions should be there. Then only we will be able to get towards our answer. Now comes the next part. Here you can see that uh, max k and min k, both of them are one only, right? So here this particular will itself act as that particular, right? Means that sub array. 
then this also act as one subarray then this also and then this also and even the individual elements would also act as subarray so in that context only we are at the end able to figure out this 10 subarrays out of all these so that is the scenario here now comes the part like rather going into much more examples which they are giving uh, to us now you can think of much more let us think of some solution means let us first eradicate the cases which we are requ not required to take so those cases are that any element which is being there which is basically this should be minimum right so any element which is basically less than our minimum and any element which is basically greater than our maximum so at that point only we will be starting from just the next element which would be there because we would be traversing right so because of that traversal only we are required to start not from that index but from just the next index which would be there so that thing we will be doing right so this is that case when we are eradicating so in that particular context what we will be doing so that's the first thing which we will be doing here now comes the part that how we are required to check for all the windows which will be contributing to our sub arrays uh which have this particular fix bound so that's the other thing which we are required to check right so by going part by part here we if we check about that particular thing then the thing is like uh, this post for the condition that when we don't know then in the s condition that when these two of them are already there right so in that context how we are required to calculate that this particular window would be there so in that context only what we would be doing is see there is one more case when uh let us take this only that min case 1 and max 5 uh, max case 5 right so there could be some array like this right so here you can see this min k the max k is starting at the start right and min k is after that right so in that context only how we are required to uh, figure out whether window is we need to check that out of the which is the minimum index that we will be checking and next thing is that how many sub arrays could exist so for that particular whatever a starting index is there starting index is basically determined by this particular thing only means this particular thing so we will be directly minus this particular and adding a one because it is a zero based index thing. so because of this only we will be able to figure out that which window we are required to take so this is the context of taking that particular window and then whatever answer we will be getting at this particular thing that we will be adding up to our answer that is this answer would be there whenever these particular range of elements would be taken so these are the two things which we are required to go ahead in this particular solution while doing uh, in the form of that sliding window so that's the thing here now comes the next part that how we are required to code the solution when it's about sliding window so i had told you about that what are the condition which we need to keep a check that in this context the thing would be like this right so let us go ahead with the solution that's how we are required to do here so now the thing is that we are storing this particular and then we are basically here keeping a check that that particular has been found or not and then this particular start this will be determining uh, us that this particular index we are required to subtract for whatever minimum index we are getting out of that min k index and max k index and then this is that minimum start and this is that maximum start which will be letting us know about this minimum and maximum element so that's the thing here then comes the part for traversing our array so that what we are going to do then first we are taking whatever element is there that we are taking and then we are comparing that what exactly that element is if that element is basically less than our min k or it is greater than our max k then we are directly making our that min found or max found to minus 1 that simply indicates that now we don't have any min found or max found because at this moment we are having out of bound element and then from here only we will be starting the start index so that we can uh, come to know that from this index we uh, from just next index to that 
we are required to check that is that potential index for our element or not. So this is the first check which we are required to do so that we can get to know that from where we are exactly required to start. Now here comes the part that if that particular num which is there, if it is equal to that minimum key, then we will be directly seeing that now we have found and that's why we can start from this index and same goes for this particular also. If it was a max index, then in that context, we will be again making the same and then we will be assigning that max star to that index. So that's the thing which we will be doing. Now comes the part that if min found and max found, both of them are existing means both of these things have been satisfied by some elements in the past or any element in the present, the combination of them. So we are having the, both of these as one. Then in that context, we will be adding up to our result. And how we are uh, keeping that particular window is that we are taking for whatever minimum index would be there out of them, subtracting the start from that. And that start is basically that point only. When the last potential index we had just found that this could be the possible index, then we are basically subtracting from that and adding a one because it is a zero based index. And then at the end, we will be returning our result. So for that, I was checking with the dry run for the same, but the, yeah, if I do, then I guess that would be much better also, but okay, let me do the dry run also for the same. So here, let us take the first example only where min k and max k is there. So our i equals to zero, then j min equal equal to zero because we have figured out with the j minimum. So we are assigning the index here. Now comes the next part that result plus equals to out of them, whatever is the index means minimum to us. And then we are subtracting because our start is presently at zero only. Here you can see at the starting, our start is at the zero, right? So it simply refers to that we can start from the starting index also. So that's why we are not subtracting anything and then adding a one because it is zero based indexing. Now, uh, because of this, because we have just this min key only, so that's why result would be zero. Now we go to index one. So here C is there, which is in the range of that min k and max k. So that's why there is uh, that eradication condition is not there. So that's why we are again doing the same and the things would be again same only. So that's the result is again zero. Then we got two I equal two J max equal to two because here five was found, right? And J min was at zero. So now we have found both of the rings, right? So that's why at this particular point, we will be getting some answer because out of them here we are having zero and then we subtract zero and then we add one. So here this one will be referring to that now we got that particular element and that's why now in the result that one would be added. So when we got to this element, because till now we are able to figure out both of the elements, right? So because of that thing only, we will be going at this particular index and now this particular element is in the range of one and five, right? So we can uh, compensate this element to our sub array as well. So this will be forming a new sub array. So that's why. At this particular point, again, when we are doing this, because both of the min index and max index were found till now, right? So that's why now we will be adding a one again, and then ultimately our result will be equal to two. And this was only written in this particular that basically one, three, five and one, three, five, two means this particular one, three, five, which we had calculated and then one, three, five, two, which we added up one element again. So basically now, we are adding that element to the same. So that's how we are able to figure out with two arrays, basically two sub arrays. And that's why our output is basically two. Now comes the part of this also, because in this first example only, our all test cases are already, uh, means all test cases, edge cases, which are there are already well explained. So now comes the next part. When we are able to figure out with any element, which is out of bound of min k and max k. So that we figure out just at the next index only. So at this moment, we will be making both of them as minus one. So because of that only, our J got, J here basically is about that starting index. So our starting index got four plus one, right? So that we are able to start from just next index. And then we will be adding up the result 
So minimum out of them is minus one only, and that start point becomes five because four plus one five, and that's why. And then we add a one to the same. So here the thing would be that because it would be, in, uh, but here because to uh, see that when both of them are at negative position, so this particular won't be calculated. So this won't be there. So that's why result will be zero only, and earlier result which was basically two. So that would be our final result till now. Now we come at this particular point. So here one of them was negative, right? So again this result won't be calculated, right? So as it is not calculated, then our result basically becomes the previous one only because now zero is added to the means. Nothing is added to the same, so it is two only. So now we are at the end able to get a two as the answer. So this was all for this particular question. If you have any doubt, you could comment that down. And yeah, if you like this question, then please do like and subscribe to my channel, and also do share among your friends. So yeah, this was all. Thank you.